It was February 2008 when a number of anonymous flyers posted around campus. These flyers suggested that Pomona College's alma mater, Hell Pomona Hill, was written for a blackface minstrel show in 1910. Blackface minstrelsy was an established 19th century theatrical practice, principally of the urban north, in which white men caricatured blacks for sport and profit. Say, I have an idea. Yes. You be around here about a half hour before the show. You mean you gonna let me watch up close? Jim Crow, you'll practically be right on the stage. Woo! Wheel about and turn about, JJ. Wheel about and turn about and do just so. Every time I wheel about, I jump Jim Crow. Give me back my clothes, please. It was configured at the height of its popularity as a semicircle of four or five or sometimes more white male performers made up in facial blacking of grease paint or burnt cork and adorned in outrageously oversized or ragged Negro costumes. Armed with an array of instruments, usually a banjo, fiddle, bone castanet, or tambourine, the performance was staged a three-part show. The first part offered up a random selection of songs interspersed with what passed for black wit and japery. The second part, or olio, featured a group of novelty performances, comic dialogues, stump speeches, cross-dressing. And the third part was a narrative skit, usually set in the South, containing dancing, music, and burlesque. Since our show tonight is so strong, <laughs> since our show tonight is so strong on comedy, have you noticed? Uh, I think it's only fitting that we call out a world-recognized authority on the subject and let him comment <laughs> on a special aspect of humor. Please welcome comedian, and former presidential candidate, aren't they all? Pat Paulson. Pat. to talk about ethnic humor. I really, I really think it's terrible what's happening in this country and the jokes they make about minorities. I'd like to give you some examples of this bigoted humor. For instance, a joke I heard recently about my Polish friends. Why are there two pole bearers at a Polish funeral? Because it only takes two men to carry a garbage can. That's terrible. You know what caused the California earthquake? They buried a Pollock and the earth rejected him. Well, I'm sick of these kind of jokes. What about some of these Jew jokes? In the Jewish calendar, this is the year 5732. In the Chinese calendar, this is the year 4732. That means for a thousand years, the Jews did their own shirts. <laughs> I don't like these. Uh, here's a better Jew joke. <laughs> Guy walks into A.B.'s tailor shop and says, I need a coat. A.B. says, I got a good one. Nice coat, cheap. Here, put it on. Guy puts on the coat and says, this coat smells. I can't buy this coat, it stinks, it's terrible, it smells rotten. Baby says, buy the coat, the smell is me. <laughs> Let's not forget
forget the jokes about the Italian-American community. They're better known as Dago jokes. How can you tell an Italian bride at a wedding? Well, she's the one with the braided armpits. we got to forget these minority jokes. I think we ought to return to the good American humor of yesterday. Here's a good American joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Betcha. Betcha who? Bet you don't know who's here. <laughs> that proves my point that American jokes are better than minority jokes. Hit it, Mark. Hit that. Dick Cavett show will return right after this word. <laughs> oh my.